everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today is Faithful Friday, where I share a process video for a page that I've completed in the current book of the Bible that I am enjoying. And I've jumped over to the book of Psalms. Yes, I know it's 150 chapters. And so I am giving myself all the freedom in the world to do Psalms for a while and then break from it and hop over to a different book if I feel like it's time to do that. But I just really felt the Lord inviting me to spend some time in the Psalms. And I have this kind of crazy idea that I'm going with for now, and that is to do a different Bible art journal entry for each psalm, sort of one at a time. So we'll see how this goes. It's a fresh idea, something a little bit different. So here's the book of Psalms, and here is chapter one. I went ahead and boxed in verse three of Psalm one, and I also underlined the words delight and meditate in verse two and added those to the page almost as kind of a mission statement for my book of Psalms journey that I am beginning at this point. Psalm one verse three says, he is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither in all that he does, he prospers. And so naturally I felt drawn toward the idea of a tree next to a stream of water here and it does have fruit on it and it's bearing its fruit in its season. It was kind of a fun coincidence, but I had decided that the book of Psalms was going to be the next book of the Bible that I would take a journaling journey through. and. That same week that I made that decision, I attended church and the pastor preached on Psalm 1 and said that the church was launching a series on Psalms as of that day. So I really enjoyed the sermon that day. And one thing that he talked about was the phrase in its season. And here we have this beautiful tree that's bearing fruit, but there are seasons, aren't there, where there is no fruit on the tree. And I can think of this in my own life as far as me being more or less fruitful at different times in my life. And I can also think of this verse in respects to what I'm asking God for, what I'm praying to the Lord for, for revival among my friends, for his gospel truth to be preached, for all of these things that I'm hoping for, don't lose hope. Just wait. Maybe it's not the season yet that he's going to release all of these things, but that season will come. And so I just really loved that thought about these different seasons that come and go in our lives. So hopefully that wasn't too preachy or rambly, but this was just a really fun and enjoyable page for me to create. You can see I'm just using my Crayola twistable colored pencils. I'm just doing a very simple picture here. It's almost like a child's coloring book, really. It's very, very basic, but I was just praising God and thanking him for his word and asking him to be with me as I begin this journey through the Psalms. I do want to talk about these colored pencils. A lot of people are asking on different Facebook groups and things like that, asking about things that don't bleed through, things that don't damage the other side of the page, inexpensive supplies, things like that. And I would classify these under all of those categories. It's amazing. They they do a really nice job on the page and make a very smooth finish. So I do highly recommend those. They're inexpensive, but beautiful. You can see I peeled the tape off of the page and I was just using that as a divider for my Psalm 1 illustration. And then I went in with my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, the brush tip pen in orange, just to add a little more dimension to that fruit. I really wanted it to kind of pop off of the page. So here is the finished page. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you liked this page, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of my journey through the Psalms. 
and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Jump into the Word of God for yourself, guys. It is amazing. God bless.